If an ant climbs up the side of a Klein oh. bottle, it'll walk straight into the opening. Basically a Mobius strip with an additional dimension. A non-orientable surface. Top. Inside, the surface twists and loops until the ant comes back out without- So a true Klein bottle cannot exist in 3D space without intersecting itself. The ones you see in stores, the neck passes through the side, but in 4D space, the surface wouldn't actually cut through itself. For crossing an edge. Now it's upside down on what looks like the inside. Mm. It keeps walking, following the curve until it's right back where it started. So in reactor design, we obsess over boundaries. Primary coolant boundaries, containment boundaries, shield walls. In this case, inside and outside are topologically the same. If you try to model this, it'll break down your Monte Carlo simulation. Has no real inside or outside. It's yep, all surface, any inside you see is just part of that single 2D sheet embedded in 3D. Of just one continuous surface that twists through itself. And there's the Mobius strip. Ant moving along it never switches sides because there are no sides to begin with. You fill a Klein bottle with uranium. There's no inner core and outer reflector. The neutron economy would be symmetrical everywhere and your criticality calculations, well, they would just break. 